we're attempting to answer a question, or at least approach a question, which is how does humanity justify its existence when faced with the infinite power of nature? That's it's a good question. <laughs> that, and that's, that's what we're grappling with. My view is that the, the, the answers to these questions, which, as I've said, we don't know, <laughs> but, but the answers, if they exist, lie in the, the, in, in the intersection of ideas that, that appear at first sight to be contradictory, that there are two. One is that we are physically insignificant, but the second is that we might be unimaginably valuable notwithstanding that physical insignificance. And that's when we start to explore uh, life, the origin of life, and the origin of complex life on Earth, and ask questions such as, well, how many civilizations might there be in a typical galaxy? And I argue that meaning, well, whatever meaning is, it, it exists because the universe clearly means something to us. So, so each of us uh, understands what meaning is. But meaning is a property of complex biological systems, I argue. So without structures such as, for example, human brains, I would argue that the, there is no meaning in the universe. So I think life brings meaning to the universe.